How's it going guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we are gonna finish up what we didn't get done last weekend because we got the wrong gaskets. All right, to start things off, uh, instead of going and putting on the valve cover gaskets because I ordered the wrong ones last time, uh, there was a little bit of rough, spot, rough spots on the valve covers. So I'm gonna sand them down and respray them and paint the intake manifold while I kind of have all this out. So gonna get jumped on that. All right, well, I've been waiting for paint to dry and that takes a long process, but Aaron got here, got us beer. So we're still waiting for paint because these are gonna be painted black and we still only have primer, primer on them. But got the valve covers on, the gaskets, repainted those. I wet sanded them twice because this is a really bad environment to paint in and just shit kept falling on it and I just kind of gave up uh, and just let them dry with how they looked. They do, he, he's too hard on himself, they look really nice. Uh, like the it was definitely worth the work okay all right so i was changing the spark plugs on the second bank we hadn't quite done that yet um when i got to what is this cylinder two i got to cylinder two and uh the porcelain came out of the spark plug so we were pretty much left with just this and the nut the little nut came off too uh, right here i don't know if you can see that maybe probably so I started thinking about it and I was like, well, we probably get an easy out in there, but neither of us have easy outs. Um, and so I said, I'm gonna try to just shove a screwdriver in there, hammer it in and twist it out. And it fucking worked like the second try. All right, so one thing to note when you're taking your intake mask pulled off, inside the gaskets between the, the upper ma manifold and the lower runners, uh, the plenum gaskets, there are these little metal rings that you need to make sure to pull off of the old gaskets. We just had to go sorting through the uh, trash pile to uh, get those again. So uh, just remember to take those off when you're doing this so that you can put it back together. Oh, oh, and uh, the injector cushions or injector seats um, they're really easy to find it uh, online for a 90 to 93 and for a mid-year 95 and newer however 99 99 94 uh, and 95 to 95 and a half I couldn't find anything so also a good thing to note make sure you keep those or you've sourced them so trying to stay productive uh, we decided to take the flex plate off because we're, again, waiting for paint to dry. Uh, I started working on pulling the harness out of the engine bay. It, it looks like I have to pull a bunch of stuff out just to get the harness out, which is a pain. But it's almost dry. The top is almost done. So I'm looking forward to actually seeing it all complete. We do still have to gasket the uh, oil pan. So that's all we had to get done today. Uh, but we're gonna place this in tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so it is time. We got the runners on, and oh, I'm just gonna put bolts in it. It looks so much better than black. I think we should have left these black. I didn't realize that these were so exposed. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's just a rubber o-ring. Yeah. Oh. I know, I know. I was waiting to finish the clip before we talked about it. Oh, uh, here, here. What's missing? What's missing? It's a good thing I didn't tighten this down or put bolts in and realize. Give you another angle. All right, so I got the 
manifold or the plenum back on. But if you look closely, can you guess what I forgot? Yeah, I forgot the fuel rail, which would have been a pain in the ass to try to do with the plenum on. So this is all bolted up, torqued down. We're gonna flip it and do the oil pan. I know the, the engine's gonna start to roll. Once we flip the motor, we looked at the rear main seal and we have to do that seal before we do the oil pan gasket. I'm putting the mounts on now just so I can hold up the motor, take uh, the flywheel off because the bolts for the engine stand are in the way, and go from there. We'll see uh, how this works. All right, so reading the instructions here, it says uh, they should angle, because there's a little bit of angle to them, to the rear of the motor. So this uh, mount kit comes with all the hardware you need to mount these. Wrong one to this side. All right guys, it's no joke. Michael's over here doing the oil pan. It is 2.04 in the morning. Um, I've been busting away on my project, working on my harness. Michael's been just getting this thing all ready to go. Got the mounts in. He already finished the rear main seal. Um, he's putting the oil pan on now. So hopefully we can get this thing in the car tomorrow. This is why there isn't a much, very much content, because nobody wants to watch somebody else lay silicone and spray paint things until they dry it. I mean, if you guys really want to watch us do that, then we'll mm -hmm. put it in. <laughs> all right, she's all back together. It looks good. I'm glad we decided to paint this black and not just clean it up. But I'm sorry for the two weekends of videos of putting this together. You know, shit happens with getting the wrong gaskets. I didn't know really anything. I knew a little bit about this motor, but I didn't know like the intake gaskets were different. And it was completely my bad for ordering the wrong valve covers. I didn't check the part number. Uh, so, but it's done and tomorrow we're going to test fit it into the engine bay. So see you tomorrow. Peace. All right. So I haven't been recording cause I've just been waiting for beer to change, but Aaron came. Did I say beer to change? <laughs>